So, okay, that's us. Found our spot, I think. What we're gonna have to do is got my pack, beer, essentials, you know, usual stuff. So for our first time, it's very close. We're gonna have to clear some of this area here, I think. Oh, we are gonna have to clear it, or I'm gonna have to clean it. And then we can pitch the tent up and get some firewood and what have you. So it's not a nice, it's not a bad spot. Um, just have to uh, clear some, clear some. Not too bad at all, not too shabby. Yana, what are you thinking? Not too shabby? You thinking I want off the lead? That's what she's thinking, aren't you? Right, I'll bring you back when we've got it cleared and when we have maybe made some progress. So, managed to clear some space, I think. And in the process we've got lots of firewood. Oh, we've got some. So basically what we're going to do is pitch the tent about there where Tiana's standing. I've also got a, uh, what do you call it, like a picnic rug thing. And I've got my chair and stuff and I think we'll have the... The fire just down here, and then uh, I'll do it like that. Some old bits of stuff. I need to find some stones and things, but other than that, I think we're we're good to put the tent up. So we're just sitting here having a cup of coffee. Tiana's chasing the flies. That's what she likes to do. See, chasing the flies. Like she lo just loves to do. <laughs> she likes to chase the flies. What a chocolate! Oh, she's a pretty girl. Pretty puppy girl. She's all set up in her for her sleeping bag tonight. For her sleepover, eh? Thank you, bud. We're just gonna wait and go hunting for some firewood after we've had our coffee. Camping Lark's alright, you know? I think so. I think it's Camping Lark's alright, Diana. What do you think, bud? What do you think? Eh? It did take a bit of a time to put the tent up right enough. I have to be honest. I did buy that this tent for a reason. I should really have it. A quick squeeze around it, will I? So, the reason I bought this tent was it's a two man tent, so I thought big enough for, for me and Tiana. But the reason I bought it, there's two reasons actually. It's the Pulsar, it's the Van Gogh Pulsar 200, it's a two man tent, and I bought it because I wanted a big vestibule. So, basically, that bar part from there to there to the back is the sleeping bit and this bit here from there to the front is all vestibule and I thought well if it gets wet or whatever I thought at least I've got somewhere to at least I've got somewhere to uh, to cook and things but the problem is and also it was 180 pounds well, I had seen it everywhere for 180 pounds and actually oh some of the local wildlife some pheasants or grouse or whatever Peasants probably. Um, yeah, the tent. So it was 180 pounds. I got it for 120. So that was one of the reasons. Tia, hey, Tia, come here. Tiana, come here. Good girl. So, um, but thinking about it, it's an awful lot of material, really. And also, I'd prefer. I would have preferred it if this, the two. So this height here. Where am I? This height here was the same as that height there. So to, instead of sloping and taking away some of the vestibule bit, because it's just an awful lot of material, it's actually an awful lot to carry. It's about three kilos, I think, just over maybe even. And I've got a, a oh, what's it called, a um, Osprey uh, Ether 7770 liter. Um, and I had, this had to go on the outside. That's because of my sleeping bag, which again I thought because I wriggle 
my sleeping bag's really quite big. So I thought, well, because I wriggle in the night, I don't didn't really want a mummy bag because I didn't want to feel kind of claustrophobic, but I think the sleeping bag's probably too big because it took up pretty much most of the space in there and I can't go can't go camping, I can't go really go trekking with with just that with with that. So I think what I'll have to do is have to have a rethink about the about the um the sleeping bag certainly. Because I get a smaller one. I've seen I've seen one online, I think they'll probably do three season one. So I'm just gonna have coffee and then we're going to go and get so there's loads and loads of uh loads and loads of sort of well stuff like this lying around. All dead, dead fall, all brittle and, and dry and stuff. Now, I'm not a woodsman. I don't know all the different types of trees. I don't know how how much they burn. All of that good stuff. What's the densest and things? So um, we're just gonna have to uh, we're just gonna have to get what we get and learn from experience. Tia, this way. Come on. Right, I'm gonna have to shout on her. Okay. So you'll see, Tiana is struggling with the flies. They're everywhere. Now I wasn't I wasn't gonna put the light the fire till I don't know maybe another hour or so but because of all of the flies and what have you I think we'll just do it now she's going nuts over here there's just hundreds of them so hopefully this will keep them away we have got minty spray but that doesn't seem to be doing much good anyway I'm not going to pretend to be a, a bushcrafter or there not at all I've got a lighter um, in fact I've got two and I've got I've took some uh, small uh, bits of kindling from the house uh, from our uh, back garden fire pit and I've got collected some wood you'll see and cut some up what have you um, and basically I'm just gonna light this and um, get this going I, I can't find any stones so what I've done is you'll see kind of see I've dug a little bit of a, a it's just a tiny pit um, and we'll get this uh, get this going so here we go. I can find light on that. What's the next question? We'll come back when I find a lighter. It's always in the darndest places. Put it in my pocket. Okay, so here we go. First ever wild camp firelight. Let's just get this one. Okay, hopefully we'll get some of these burning and when we do hopefully that'll keep some of the uh that'll keep some of the flies away at least right this is well, i shouldn't really put it on the blue should i blue tart and singing short bread then eh? fabby dabby in my pooch right to you see what's going on over here be careful okay you be careful so now some of the stuff I, d I do I do know the kind of the way you do this I've I've looked at it often enough on on YouTube um, I do know that you know to do it properly you need pencil size and that for your first stage and then or your your kindling and then uh, pencil lead size sorry and then uh, pencil size and then your your fuel so I have got different sizes but as I say because I'm using fire lighters. I'm not really going to be too fussed about it in all honesty. I'm not going to be too precious about it either. There's wood everywhere, so we just want to get this going so that we can try and keep some of the flies away. Actually, that's what we want to do. And we're looking quite good there. We're looking quite good there, aren't we, Tia? Not bad. Feel like fire. Feel like fire. Oh, some of the cows are coming, are they? Some of the cows are there. I suspect. Oh, there's a bull in there as well, actually. We need to be careful of the bull. Dave says, need to be careful of the bull. Didn't know why they were all... Did see somebody wandering through there right enough. But anyway, that's beside the point. Okay, he is happy. I'm happy. Fire's on. Hopefully keeping the flies away. Actually, it's pretty much done it already. Flies are, flies are gone. That's good. That's really good. 
Oh. Ready. Soon be op soon be time to open a tinny, I think. So Tiana's perfectly happy. Sitting by the fire. Got plenty of stuff going on. Might just be time to have a beer, I think. Certainly gets the flies away, that's for sure. There is no question about that, she's much happier now. Anyway, plenty of wood, comfy. The only problem is this chair. This chair, let me chair this. What is it? Trichology? Is it what they're called? Trichology? Yes, it's called a trichology chair. Is and I should have thought about this. The ground is so soft it keeps digging in here. So if you do buy one of these, anybody, buy the matte things that go along with it because you can get matte things that you put on the bottom of the the bottom of the pit to, to spread the weight. I've tried to find something to spread the weight, but there isn't really anything here. Unfortunately, I can use so not a lot things for me to use here but that's okay. I just have to keep standing up. Oh I have to say so I have to say the gym this morning it was a tough one I have to tell you. That was a real tough one. JB Fitness uh, Zoom class as many reps as possible it was a tough eight. <clears throat> My legs are killing me now. I have to have to say that. Anyway, I thought I'd just kind of. I was just using all the woods kind of wet. That's not wet. It's, it's. it's well, it is wet. It's a little bit wet. I've had some rain. It's a little bit wet. But, uh, I'm just kind of using the stuff that's kind of around here. It dries out, no bother, on the fire, so. But, uh, I thought. I thought I would uh, just sort of have a have a think, contemplate the world. I was sitting here thinking about a beer, actually. So it's us back again. We're just gonna kind of keep come popping in and out. It's just back. She just went away to find herself a stick. As she says, as her want. I'm gonna cook tea shortly. But okay, here's a question, YouTube sports fans. Why? And, I, and I, I do have to ask this question. Why do all of the bushcraft, even people in... In fact, it's not just it's Paul Messner. Messner is, I think it's Messner, is that his name? So everybody, every single one of them, I have nothing against this, by the way, but every single one of them, what is it about craft beer? Why do they all take craft beer with them? Because... I just kind of quite wrap my head around it, the whole craft beer thing. Where I am right now, and where I live, arguably, oh, it's just seen somebody, or heard somebody, heard a car, see a car, see a car. Arguably, I am about six miles from Brewdog, probably the daddy of all the craft beer um, ale places now. Um, the other thing is my house. I'm 10 minute walk from Brewdog. Now don't get me wrong, I love all they stand for, I love everything they do for, for, for you know, what they've done through the course of the COVID-19 thing and giving it a free hand sanitizer and all that. And there are a couple of drinks, a couple, but there's only two, I mean I mean a couple, there's only two that I actually like in, in there. I mean, I just cannot wrap my head around it. Um, my wife adores it, as does her, does her best friend, absolutely loves it. Um, Hazy Jane and chocolate whatever and grapefruit this and look 
Uh, maybe it's me. Maybe maybe I'm just an old man. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Maybe I'm just an old man. But for me, there is only one. Well, there's two actually, and depending on where you are. But when you're world camping, it's got to be this Tony with the tinnies. Now, if, I'm, if you don't know the reference, you need to watch Still Game. You guys, if you ever see, if anybody ever watches this in America, you need to watch Still Game and the episode called Kertz. Tony with the tinnies comes in and he brings in a pack of tenants, which is a pr proper lager from, um, from Glasgow. Now, I'm not, a, I'm not, I don't drink an awful lot, but the other thing I do like is Guinness. And Guinness has to be, you've got to drink Guinness at rugby. I'm a big rugby fan. I was a rugby player for a long time, um, and I like a Guinness at the rugby. But anyway, all you guys that drink craft beer, I can't get my head around it. But cheers to you anyway. Um, I, I I don't taste anything other than that horrible or that's too sour or whatever in it. Fair play to the people who are doing it on yourself. But I'll stick with my pint of tenants. Thanks very much. Tony with the tinnies. Tony with the tinnies. What do you say, Bell? That's not Bell, it's to you. Got one slurp. One slurp. One slurp, eh? Tony with the tinnies. That's good. That is good. I actually just, I've just had a thought about something. Just thinking about that, I said cheers. I shouldn't have actually said cheers. I should have said Slangeva which um, obviously is the toast in, in Scottish and uh, Slangeva means uh, cheers my friend so Slangeva boop it's down here Slangeva good stuff good dog just after our tea we'll get our tea in a minute so that's Tiana scoffing her tea Time to make my tea. But I've got something special for her in here as well. So what we've got? Veggies and a potato for baking, and a fillet steak. I've actually got two of them. Those bad boys. So I'm going to put these on the fire. Roast up the veggies. Roast up the tatty. And then we're going to cook the uh, cook the steak and have some red wine with my steak. So, okay, so roasted veggies in this one with some olive oil and a potato in that one. I'm just going to fold them all up in a parcel each. So there'll be potato in one parcel, veggies in the other parcel. Put it on the thing. Potato first, then the veggies. Potato take about I don't know half an hour, forty minutes, something like that. Veggies take twenty minutes. And then uh, we'll get the steaks on the go. Okie doke. Okay, so baked potato is done. It's in here. Tiana's over there. Got my red wine ready. Got the frying pan on the coals. Veggies are just about done. I'm going to wait to put the steak on, so I'm going to put this here. Maybe we can just see how that goes. Got two steaks to go on, actually. So here we go. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Get that bad boy. Not the sizzle. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, it's 
stuck. <laughs> Now, if anybody says anything, I, uh, I don't like my stick rare. I prefer them to be a little bit sort of medium, well done. Medium ish. Oh, they are good. And for anybody says anything, no, I'm not even bored of them, so one of that part of that is the other as well. But that's epic, that is. Look at those. Bad boys going off in there. Roasted veg, potatoes all done, looking good, in my mess tin. Oh, the steaks. Well, one of them's certainly just about done for my liking, the other one's probably going to take a bit longer, but uh, hey ho. Got the rest of it here, ready to go, and I'm starving. I am absolutely Hank Marvin. I think what we'll do is take the thin one out, which is this bad boy here. That's probably good enough. I'll leave that one in for a bit longer. And then I'll share that one with Tiana. Now we'll get the fire going again, have some red wine. Watch the sun go down. It's not that there's much sun up here in Scotland, but there you go. You gotta love it, haven't you? You gotta love the outdoors. Don't do this often. Don't do this. I can't believe I've never done this before, but there you go. Just awesome. Absolutely awesome. Now you can see I've tried to cut that one just to make sure that it's to my liking. I know there are people out there who are going to go, Ooh, can't have that, it's too uh, overdone. Jad, my business partner, yep, he likes it, Blah. and I can't stand it like that. So, um, in fact, Dave, where I'm camping, I'm sorry Dave, but I know that you like it uh, there as well, but I don't like it like that. Anyway, boys and girls, I want you it's actually very good. I'm going to put some salt on my veggies uh, and things. Just put them out in for a nice thing that my wife lovingly bought me. No tomato sauce in sight, because that's just ridiculous. Who would do that? Some mustard, French mustard. Now there you're talking. Now you're talking. But I don't have any of that, so I just have to be the way it is. Right, I think that's probably good. And that's probably good to go. Oh, that was dicey. That was really dicey. I should maybe not have done that. All right, let's get that one over there. And then we'll take that one off in a minute. But it's looking good. Fillet steak, roasted veg, half a baked potato, and some red wine, of course, with a puppy dog. All because of Tia. All because of Tia. Right, well, I'm going to eat my tea, share that last bit of steak with Tiana, and uh, we'll stoke up the fire after. Glass of wine, you know. Well, well, that was uh, tea, that was really tasty. Got the fire built up. Just going to sit here, drink the rest of, uh, got some wine down there some more actually packed away cleaned tidied Tiana's sitting by the fire and we're just gonna chill beside the fire tonight and then possibly maybe go in and in the tent and watch a movie or something I don't know but it's a nice enough night so I don't have to go inside and I've got plenty of wood so bacon rolls in the morning anyway that's it been a great day. Can't believe that this has been my first one that I've ever done. Um, don't really know what to say. It's been awesome. 
Oh, it's actually really hard work. <laughs> Surprisingly. Um, I think I uh, didn't quite know it would be, be so hard, hard work as it was. The this, this stuff here had to all be pulled out and things to get the tent up and stuff. So that was a bit harder than I maybe I thought it was going to be. But, you know, a lot of respect for... Uh, for guys that take these uh, these big packs up uh, up uh, up hills and in in, um, the, in the Lake District and you know chuck a tent up and and sleep under under there um, and, and take their stove and stuff. I mean, I guess if, if I could uh, if I had to do it I'd do it differently, wouldn't have a chair, you know, the rug, you know, different sleeping bag, that type of thing. So. Um, probably manage it but uh yeah i've got a lot of respect for for those guys that are doing doing those types of uh doing those types of things but yeah we're just gonna chill now and uh while away the saturday evening actually started to rain can't believe it's starting to rain luckily we're quite enclosed here so don't think it'll really affect us that much. It's starting to rain, bud. It's starting to rain, to you. It's starting to rain. Ah, Christopher's party will be no impressed about that. Christopher's party, that's for sure. That must be starting. It's not Christopher's party. Oh, cold. Quarter seven. Um, it's actually not. It's one of his friends, but yeah. Anyway, I don't think it'll be on for long. It's not forecast, so mind you, this is Scotland, so I could be saying nothing. Anyway. If I uh, if I don't say good night, um, I'll be in my, my sleeping bag in the next couple of hours. Well, I might say 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 night from there, but otherwise, um, we'll see you in the morning.